Okay. Hello, fellow YouTubers. Today's breaking news is about another fellow YouTuber, which I'm saddened to say that I am forced to make this video. Now, the fellow YouTuber we all know... Gladly pay you Tuesday oh, for oh, a oh, hamburger. Person. This person. Now, I have to say that this isn't really news. A lot of people already know this about this person, but I have to say a few things about this, and I really do not like making this video. But I'm... Like I said, forced to. So, wait one second. What? My turn? Yeah, your turn. You know, I wish somebody would put lights or bells or whistles or something on each camera to let you know it's switching from one to another anyways. So this person that's in question here has made many attempts to show the public his progress and the work that he is failing at as far as being a guitar tech. Now, it has been said that this person and I, myself, Eric C., have been friends at one point in time, and this is true. But there was an outcome that happened uh, pretty much over a year ago that has basically drifted me apart from the friendship between this person. Reason being was, well, the first part of it was basically screwing up a friendship between me and another party. And because of his stupidity and wrongdoing, um, somehow I got involved. Well, needless to say, that has all been worked out, and the friend that I once have lost is no longer lost, and now he's found. And me and him have been chatting and talking here and there, and, you know, everything's cool. On the other hand, that was part one of kind of a little bit of a eh, gear grinding uh, problem that was with this person. And throughout time and, and the years that have went by, um, notice other little things that this person was doing that so <laughs> Alright folks, let's cut the bullshit. We all know who this person is. It's Terry. Terry Barry, Terry G G and G, Terry, whatever you want to fucking call yourself this month or whatever. Now everybody knows who this guy is. Everybody knows what the story is about this guy and the things that have gone on in the past with him. And like I said before about a friend that I ended up losing because of him was the first problem that I noticed with this guy. I've noticed Terry I've I've known Terry for about uh what, about five, six years now, all right? And he didn't seem like a, a too bad of a person, down to earth and shit like that, but there was just things that didn't seem right with him, okay? Now, again, you know, a lot of people question uh, if he's got some type of mental problems or, or whatever, but, you know, that's still up in the air. Now, first thing I did, you know, became friends with him and stuff like that. We got to talking about guitar strings and he started saying about how strings were expensive in Canada and stuff. So I offered to send him, you know, some strings and I did so, you know, no questions asked, uh, didn't ask for anything in return, just like everything else. I don't ask for anything for what I've done on YouTube, but I don't ask for anything in return. So that started things off and it was pretty cool and stuff. Uh, you know, when a friend of mine's on YouTube birthday would come up, you know, I'd send him something for his birthday and kind of noticed a little thing, a little something strange with Terry. And it seemed like there was a little bit of a jealousy issue that was going on. And he could say no all he wants, but I found out uh, from another party that, yes, Terry has a jealousy issue when it comes to people getting things or, or whatnot, or what people have. And I've noticed it myself as far as another recent uh, hangout of a birthday, and that'll be later on. Anyways, uh, there was a big blowout between Gypsy Blues and uh, Terry, and at that time he called himself Terry Bear, and somehow I got involved in this. Now, I think it was just because I knew Terry, and I really wasn't taking sides to this argument. Uh, I kind of figured that... Uh, uh, both sides had their own reasons, and both sides could work things out by themselves. The only thing is that I mentioned was uh, I didn't agree with how the argument was going about. You know, I figured it could be you know, 
two grown men could be handling this on their own and uh, basically um, you know Terry ended up kind of I don't know it, it, it's it's hard to say how Terry handled this and it, it's kind of like one of these things where he was like you know brushing it off and it really I don't know let's just say that uh, Gypsy Blues was pissed really pissed and I guess it was something that was kind of building up with Gypsy Blues uh, but Terry sending him inappropriate photos to his Facebook was kind of like the last straw all right so I got involved in this and I kind of lost a friend you know me and Gypsy Blues were pretty much uh, you know shooting the shit a lot talking a lot uh, making plans to go out to Chicago and hang out with them and you know see the sights out there it's been a long time since I've been out there towards the Chicago land area and, uh, you know, things were pretty cool, but, you know, Terry fucked that up. So, now, me and Gypsy Blues are, you know, we're talking again and, and shooting the shit. And, you know, just like grown men should be doing, you know, not uh, arguing about piddly shit. All right. So, the gear started rolling about Terry with that. And that kind of set me off on Terry. And I backed off a lot. You know, I kind of uh, lay low didn't really chat with Terry too much uh, didn't leave comments on his channel all that much at all uh, hangouts were going on that I wouldn't show up in uh, you know just staying away from him in general because he was kind of annoying very annoying even the jokes that he claims you know are jokes or thinks that are jokes aren't funny and uh, sometimes inappropriate so time went on now we get up to a, another situation with a um, well, friend's birthday, and I ended up sending him something again, which uh, you know people do that for you know friends that good friends that have birthdays and stuff like that. They'll send them a little something or whatever. So during this hangout, uh, I noticed that uh, there was another set of eyes, and they were Terry, and uh, he's kind of like watching things, and you know you could see something was up with him as things were being unboxed or whatever shortly after that i mean not back to back but shortly after that i get a private uh message on my skype basically saying that uh here's a link to my um wish list for amazon which i knew nothing about i didn't i knew terry had a patreon but that was about it uh, and I think I gave him like five bucks or ten bucks for his Patreon when he first started it, just to be, you know, nice or whatever. And uh, I didn't know he had a wish list or this other bullshit that he's got going on now. So I got pissed. And you know, like I said, this was like shortly after a friend's birthday. And uh, I think it was after Terry's birthday as well, something like that. And uh, so he sends me a, and I'm going to pop post it behind me you can see it or on the side of me you can see it <coughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm looking at this and I'm like wow did I just adopt a very big fat man or uh, does this guy think he's he's my child now like sending me a Christmas wish list to Santa Claus come on now I don't think so so I got pissed and it's like okay well you know um, what do I do with this? So I kept my mouth shut and I didn't say anything for a good length of time, probably almost a year or so, uh, up until recently. Uh, and I saw a video of Terry asking people to send him a Gibson guitar. Now you got the balls to fucking do that, I, I tell you. And uh, you know, other people are, he's monitoring for other people and the funny part of it is, is in his videos, and these, these is basically his words, maybe not word for word, but these are his words. In his video, he says that he's moderating for uh, other channels, that he's not getting paid for, or he's not getting anything from it. Uh, but then goes ahead and says, well, I have a uh, Amazon wish list uh, uh, and a, a PayPal or whatever account that if you want to tip me or give me something, uh, it'll be greatly appreciated. So he's looking for something for the services that he thinks he's providing. Okay. And nobody's really giving him anything. So, 
Another thing is, is I noticed when I was doing a lot of giveaways and stuff like that, uh, in the beginning part of it, that, you know, he couldn't be a part of it because I'm not shipping shit out to Canada. And Canada is, you know, I mean, it, it's kind of pricey to ship something out there. Now, this goes back to the Amazon wish list that he has. In the comments that he put next to his Amazon wish list, the link to it, on Skype is basically well you said something you will give give me something for my birthday but uh, shipping is uh, very expensive but Amazon includes shipping I'm like you motherfucker this is the type of person that he is okay he's he's out there to try to get free shit number one and again you know it's cool that a lot of the these channels and stuff will do a patreon to support their channel to put back into their channel for either parts supplies or whatever but these people have good content they have really interesting they're they're showing something that that people would be interested in and uh could use for themselves terry's videos you can't really use his skills for something that you're doing uh he doesn't have skills as far as a guitar tech goes uh, he cannot refinish a guitar um now he's traded off a few of the guitars that he has refinished okay and i think the reason being why the, their other party was interested in those guitars was because they had a gibson logo on them or gibson name but there was really nothing wrong when you go back to the flying v or you go back to the sg there was really nothing wrong with those gibsons to begin with other than being a um you know not the top notch of gibson lines all right uh there was nothing wrong with them but he felt the need now here's the kicker when i was doing a lot of refinishing and, and building kick guitars and stuff like that this is kind of where this kind of circle arounds and I start going back I start thinking it's like motherfuckers trying to copy off of me you know he's trying to uh, basically uh, do the same thing that I'm doing and it looks like he's trying to do it the same way that I'm doing it now everybody knows that you use when you do rub on poly you use uh, say you know t-shirt material in order to put on well I was having a problem with uh, I bought a bag of t-shirts, cut up t-shirts that you can get at any home improvement place for doing staining and stuff. And I was having problems with that t-shirt leaving some little hairs and fuzz in the wipe-on poly. So I started using paper towel and noticed that the paper towel wasn't leaving anything inside of the finish as I was wiping it on. He started doing the same thing. And you can go back to his videos and hunt it down yourself. I'm not going to put up any links or whatever. Because he'll just love to have something to kind of uh, copyright this or whatever. Uh, that's why the other picture doesn't show his face. Because he can't do anything about it. It's not his face being shown. Uh, he could try, but it ain't going to work. And this isn't bullying. This is not bullying. This is not. Uh, uh, this is pointing out actual facts. All right. So again, he goes and he has a Strat guitar that uh, uh, apparently needs a new neck, all right? And if you go back to the videos, it's like, this is the third neck you're putting on this guitar. He finds something wrong with it. And on top of that, this, this new neck that he bought, he's in a hangout and he's showing off his finished work. And he clearly states that he didn't sand down the seal coating that is on that neck before he stained and finished it and you can clearly see the blotchiness and, and yeah it, it, you, if you're going to do something don't do it half-assed do it the correct way everybody knows that if you try to put stain over something that is not bare wood that stain does not seep into that wood uh therefore it's going to have high dark or low dark spots and light spots and shit but i'm talking so much my cigarette died out Also, some other things, and I've seen this for myself, and so has a lot of other people out there on YouTube. His bullshit talk, okay? Uh, there was a hangout where, um, who was it? Uh, Tone King's hangout, where they were having a discussion about something that had nothing to do with what Terry brought up. 
So Terry decides he's going to bring up in the side chat of Tone King's Hangout uh, something about Will Galvin and McKnight's uh, the, the little issue that those two guys had to bring up drama and to stir the pot a little bit in the Tone King's Hangout. Now, the Tone King ended up, you know, he was kind of curious about it and, and you know, it was brought up and, and after Terry brought it up, but it had nothing to do with what they were talking about at all, whatsoever. Uh, getting involved in bullshit with other channels, uh, thinking that he's being the superhero of the day or getting himself, basically putting your nose or his nose where it doesn't belong. You know, put your nose back into a cheeseburger or a uh, cheesecake, a chocolate swirled cheesecake. That's where it really belongs. Now, and I'll get to that one because that, that one's kind of funny. So, People have talked to Terry about this. We had our little intervention with Terry to basically sit there and say, hey, you know, stop this shit. You're digging yourself a fucking hole. You're putting yourself deeper into this hole. And, you know, then you claim victim when people start turning on you because you, you're putting your nose into other people's shit. Uh, and then when he was called out, which was factual stuff about Terry, as far as this cosplay, uh, as far as these uh, girls or whatnot that were um, either inappropriate dressed or too young or whatever it was, he was called out by Elmo B. And, you know, a lot of people don't agree with the, the tactics that Elmo B does. But, you know, what? it makes sense in how and why he does things, okay? I even was a part of it at one part in time. And, uh, you know, it, it does make sense. It's not that I'm buddy-buddy with these people or agreeing with 100% of what these people are doing. It's just that it all makes sense of what they're doing and why they're doing it. Now, it's one thing to sit there and, and try to... Um, I don't know to moderate and be the good guy all the time and try to uh, get rid of all the bullshit and other people's channels and stuff but Terry takes it one step further he thinks it's a, it's a job he thinks he should be rewarded for his job and the funny thing is is that when Terry's bringing uh, is monitoring for these other guys like Ben Coombs and stuff and I got a little thing to say about Ben Coom and Ben Coombs sister that was in one of the hangouts that Ben Coom had not too long ago uh, he sits there and he moderates to get rid of the people that he does, doesn't like. So if somebody makes a comment about him, he's there to get rid of Well, if Terry wasn't in those hangouts, there would be no need for a moderator. Because nobody is really attacking anybody else or doing anything else other than attacking him. Makes sense, right? Now, back to the Ben Coon thing, Okay. Recently, not too recently, but probably like three or four hangouts ago, uh, I was end up watching one of Ben Coombs' hangouts, and uh, I don't comment too much inside of Ben Coombs' hangouts, but I do watch every once in a while. Uh, it's quite comical when Terry puts his foot in his mouth. But uh, again, he ended up making, I don't know what Ben Coombs' sister said in the side chat, but I caught a glimpse of what Terry said about female, uh, at it was at Ben Coombs' sister, uh, about uh, female erections and I saw this and I'm like all right Ben you need to fucking tell this guy to to tone it down ease it up or whatever because this has nothing to do with what you guys your guys's conversation is and it's actually kind of making you guys look bad and pretty soon there's not going to be a lot of people that are going to be watching because of Terry being there and your thumbs up and down, you'll notice your thumbs will probably go a lot more up than down because Terry's not there as well. Terry does this shit to himself, okay? This whole um, wish list thing, okay? I, I, I want to show you something. Now, I did some wood burning on a guitar body a long, long time ago and came out pretty nice, but... I noticed that on Terry's wish list, he's got the same wood burner that I've got on his wish list. Coincidence or, again, is he trying to be a wannabe? Not himself, but a wannabe. It's not the tools 
that you have that makes a person uh, a mechanic. It's the knowledge and the knowing of how to use those tools that makes you a mechanic or better yet mechanically inclined. All right, a lot of the tools I have on the back wall, I have a section on this side behind me that's for guitar parts or guitars and stuff for working on them. And the rest of it is for whatever else is needed. Okay. I've been working on guitars for, what do you say now, six, five or six years? And the more that I've been working on, the more I've been learning, the more I've been uh, sharing with you guys as far as what I've been doing and what I've been, even though it's basically a repeat of the same thing I've done already, but with a different guitar, uh, the knowledge of basically, uh, maybe somebody has that guitar and they're having a little bit of an issue with it, and maybe my video can help. Show me anything in Terry's videos that can help somebody. One time, which was a very funny situation, was when Terry was in a hangout with and Ben Coombs hangout, and he was showing off the new neck, finished, blotchy, but finished, uh, and he drops it, and he's got this oh shit look on his face, and literally has this oh shit look on his face that, uh, you know, people saw this. You guys are going to have to go back. I'm not cut and pasting the stuff. I started doing this video, do, doing that, and it started turning into a pain in the ass. So I'm not fucking doing that shit. But, anyways. So this last video that Terry puts up, uh, that he ended up taking down about what is wrong with that acoustic guitar. And, again, um, my first comment on that video was, you're a dumbass. And... Again, he took that down. So I started thinking about it. It's like, you know, I'm not going to kind of, I'm not going to, I figured he was going to take down the dumbass comment. So I figured, well, maybe I'll help the guy out. And I put, and here are the screenshots of what I put down uh, on that video. And I figured that uh, I'd help him out a little bit. Maybe, maybe my two cents, you know, is worth a dime to him. I don't know. And it could help. And there was a lot of people that I ended up putting a comment in there. You know, and his reply, as you could see, was that. And so he's meaning that my little friends. Okay. So my little friends is a group of people that uh, he hangs around with. Or used to hang around with before he became this bigwig moderator. There's a pattern here. Since Terry has become a big wig moderator for these guys, Terry's head got bigger, almost as big as his body, okay? And it seemed like, you know, the other guys that he used to hang around didn't matter anymore. And he used to hang out on Skype, and he used to do this, and he used to do that up until... Uh, you know, the, the moderating thing got took most of his time. You know, he's like, oh, I got a job now. I got to go moderate for, for Ben Coombs or this guy. It, it's, it's funny. He really thinks it's really a serious type of thing. All right, so we got putting your nose in the shit that shouldn't belong. Uh, we've got basically opening up your mouth about shit that you really shouldn't be opening up your, your mouth to. Insulting women putting up comments uh, uh, about women and shit like that and um, the cosplay shit which to each your own but again it is uh, inappropriate for um, the age group that he is compared to the age group that these women are these women are or girls whatever um, what else oh man the list goes on He's not a guitar tech. He doesn't show any of his work. He always shows the aftermath of his work. <clears throat> and then people cheer him on. It's like, oh my God, look at that Gibson Flying V. It's like missing fucking paint all over the place. Oh, I meant to do that. <clears throat> so you meant to fuck up a Gibson Flying V. Right on, buddy. Good job. You know, at least when, when other people do a finishing job on something, uh, they go all the way through with it, even though it's a lot of work, which it is. You know, refinishing a guitar is a lot of work. Uh, setting up a guitar uh, is a little bit of work. File leveling is a lot of work. But and you have to do it a certain way in order for it to come out the right way, not half-ass it. Gladly pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. All right, so I went upstairs to get another Coke, 
and uh, yeah so if you made it this far during this video I kind of feel bad for you because you have to listen to all this shit but you know the truth is out there it, it's in plain sight you can see it for yourself it's all over his his channel now one of the things that we've noticed with Terry too is ever since he became a moder moderator or whatever you want to call it um, his attitude has changed quite a bit and he's become a little arrogant and he acts like you know you know, he acts like his shit doesn't stink anymore basically so if you go back to to like a year ago or more videos and see how he was acting then compared to how he is acting now yeah he's gotten a little arrogant another thing is you know I cannot like say anything about his guitar playing because I'm not a very good guitar player myself I can work on these things set them up fix them and, and uh, do a finish on them or refinishing on them or whatever and uh, better than I can play so I can't comment or anything about his guitar playing but I can say this if you go back to the two videos that he did where he was like somewhat like in the dark playing okay now if you watch any of Terry's videos where he's playing with the lights on uh, you see that he looks at his neck and he looks at his uh, picking hand as well while he plays which is not a big deal I do the same thing you know but when you look at the lights out videos where he's playing basically what looks like total total darkness um, he's not I have the same program which is Windows Movie Maker I think it's called um, I don't use that program for what my editing I have other software for this so I did a little test with the Windows Movie Maker program and tried to, to try to see something here now in one video it looks like he's playing in total darkness and you can see the amplifier behind him the LED lights blinking now you guys know me with LED lights, okay? I've been playing around with them like crazy. Hell, I've incorporated them in guitars. I've got them all over the other room. Uh, I start playing with LED lights on, you know, just to get some type of mood lighting or whatever while I was playing guitar. Now, so what I've done is I took basically my amplifier behind me and I set up a LED uh, strip and toned it down to basically where it was the same color light, green. All right. Now, even though there was more LEDs on this than there was on his amplifier, I threw a blanket over the LEDs, which, you know, I got my shit over here, to try to see how this would work. Now, what I ended up doing is making a quick video and uh, putting it through the Windows Movie Maker program and turned the brightness down. Turn the brightness down to basically almost you couldn't see none of me but you did see the LEDs on the fucking behind me dimmed down but they were there so then I did a thing where it was kind of sunny in here there's a window right in front of me up on the wall uh, turned the lights off so it was more of a dim light situation uh, did the same thing and that made it even better so the lower the lighting in the room was the better or the lower that the LEDs were behind me they were a little bit more brighter so when I turned the brightness down in movie uh, movie maker oh, piece of wire for I could see that I was getting more of the same effect that he was getting in his videos okay that was number one number two there's also another video of him playing somewhat in the dark where it looks like there's a little like red filter that you can see on his face and, and maybe his hands and stuff too throughout this video and on the guitar as well. And you can still see his LED lights blinking in the background. So I did the same thing. So I added the red filter and basically uh, what happened was uh, I got the same effect. Under a low lighting situation, recording going back to the Windows uh, movie editor or maker whatever you want to call it and then dumbing down the uh, putting the red filter and then dumbing down the brightness gave me the same effect that he had in his video okay so he's not playing in true darkness number two of number two uh, I also noticed when he was playing in that video you, he's got the looper going on and if you listen to him playing with the looper uh, he's doing a lot of string bending and you know whatever he's playing for Terry okay 
it sounded pretty good. I got I got to hand it. It sounded pretty good, but um, I really don't think he was playing that because it sounded too good. And when I mean too good, there was no overtones. Uh, timing seemed to be uh, like pretty good, um, and it just sounded too cleanly done. Okay, so you be the judge of that as far as if that was Terry playing or not. Um, I, I'm, I question it. Okay, I'm not saying it's not him, but I am questioning that. So, all in all, as far as all this shit goes, man. Uh, Terry, Terry GG, Terry Bear, Terry, whatever you want to fucking call yourself. Uh, yeah, the guy needs to really straighten his shit out. Period. He is not a... He's not worth sending money to or sending him things to. Uh, his channel content sucks. It, it just... I mean, he's got some stuff that may be pretty good. But when you watch his videos, as far as, uh, say, if, if I was a, a person that needed help with something, as far as the guitar goes, as say I, there was a bad scratch in, in the finish of my guitar, he would not be a person to go to, because you will end up making that scratch worse than what it was watching him try to fix something. Or uh, that scratch is not going to go away after trying to do what he's doing. So, in all... Of all this bullshit with Terry and all this crap, I have my own personal reasons why I don't fucking care for the guy, period. And I've got my reasons for it. I don't care if, if you know, anybody else likes them or not, to each their own, period. But there's too much out there and too much things that have already happened and that are continuing to happen that just makes this guy look like an idiot, period. And... Who knows? You know, maybe he's the one who's trolling everybody else. Maybe he isn't really an idiot and he's just playing out to be one. You know, who knows? So, I'm wrapping this up because it's getting way too long and there are more stories that could be told about this person. And, uh, yeah. And it's not like these stories are uh, undercovered or well-kept secrets or anything. This is actually stuff that, that has been brought out into the public that uh, uh, he has done. Either in Hangouts or other videos and, and, and comments to other people. You know, so he is not innocent throughout this shit at all. He's done his fair share of comments and, and everything else to other people, other YouTubers, uh, that, you know, really... For someone who, who plays the victim and stuff, uh, yeah, I don't think so. So, you guys take care of a good one, and uh, see you all on the flip side. Bye.